What extremely minor detail made you realize your spouse was cheating? I've never had reason to suspect he was unfaithful to me or even remotely dissatisfied with our marriage. He likes to joke that we're still living the honeymoon phase nearly five years and two kids in. I wouldn't have questioned that, or him, were it not for a surprise I found in his car last month. When buckling our daughter into her car seat, I noticed something slotted between the cushions. I pulled it out and saw that it was a tampon. This wouldn't have been so unusual had I not had an IUD that has stopped my period for the past year. I didn't even recognize the wrapper style. I brought it to my husband's attention. He didn't seem to understand what it was, let alone why I was holding it, until I told him where I'd found it and why I was almost certain it wasn't mine. He shrugged and said it probably belonged to his co-worker, Fiona. It's not uncommon for my husband to carpool to lunch with his co-workers and we're both fairly close to Fiona and her husband. So I figured it was entirely possible the tampon had slipped out of her purse whenever he had driven with them or offered her a ride. No big deal. I put it out of my mind until we had dinner with Fiona and her husband a couple weeks later. I had sincerely wanted to believe my husband. I just couldn't get over the way it had been tucked in the seat and how my husband had seemed not to have any regard for it whatsoever. Maybe playing dumb. I did something that I now feel kind of crazy for doing. I faked an emergency and asked Fiona if she had any tampons while we were out together. She handed me one almost identical to the tampon I'd found in our backseat and I breathed a sigh of relief. So the tampon there was probably the same tampon here and in all likelihood, there was an innocent explanation as to why it had been left in the backseat in the first place. I thought I'd seen the last of the out-of-place feminine hygiene products until I found another tampon this morning. This time in my sock drawer. I feel physically ill at the thought of my husband having an affair and even more nauseated at the thought that the woman might have left these tampons out for me to find. If it was my husband's co-worker, why would she give herself away by offering me one the other night? I didn't know what to do so I told my sister what happened. The tampon in the backseat and the sock drawer, my husband's cluelessness, the tampon from Fiona, and all the things I suspected but didn't want to believe. We compared both of the tampons and they were a match, just in different absorbances. I hadn't left either in a place where my husband or daughters would have found them and moved them around. My daughters didn't know what they were or where they had come from. My sister was convinced it was Fiona either screwing my husband, playing a game with me, or both. Direct confrontation of either party still seemed like a bad idea, so she suggested inviting Fiona and her husband over for our Labor Day barbecue. Unfortunately, they already had plans. My sister and I agreed that it was too soon for cameras without any other evidence so it was just a waiting game from there. Watching my husband for any changed behavior, our house for any misplaced items and even the girls for any new friends they might have met. My sister's husband was adamant on this last point and partly why he was inclined to believe that the tampons were harmless. If anything had been happening in or around our home, he said, it would be nearly impossible to keep it from me and the girls. I felt a good bit of consolation in that. It wasn't until my younger daughter came down with something last week that I felt any differently. I wanted to be the one home taking care of her, but my husband insisted that I stay at work while he stayed home with her. I was okay with that, my sister and her husband figured it was a good sign that he would take the time off at a moment's notice. At that point, we were all already beginning to put the tampon fiasco behind us. By the third or fourth day, I was just happy to see a near healthy child and a husband who was helping see her through it. Toward the end of that week, though, I came home to something strange. The toddler that I'd left that morning in an old PJ set was now dressed in a onesie I'd never seen before, with a tiny clip in her hair. I can't say I have the sharpest memory, but I have a pretty good sense of what my kids wear on a day-to-day -day basis. Particularly what kinds of clothes they wear. I'd sworn off the full-length sleep suits with snaps across the front long before we'd ever had our second. It's just not something I would dress her in and my husband knows as much. He doesn't plan for, or buy, the girls' clothes and he certainly doesn't accessorize them, so I was bewildered. And kind of floored at the thought of someone around our sick child without my knowledge. I didn't think twice, and I went straight to my husband to ask if anyone had been over to see him or the girls. He seemed confused, like before, and asked me why I would think that, it had just been him and the kids all day. I asked him again, if someone had so much as stopped by to say hello and he denied it. He told me to calm down. I might have lashed out and come forward with the accusations right then and there, but our older daughter was in the room and she sensed something was up. In a calmer voice, I asked him a third time if anyone had been around our children, and my husband swore that the girls hadn't been around anyone but him. He also denied buying new clothes or doing anyone's hair. With our daughter in the room and my emotions all over the place, I decided to leave it. I couldn't make sense of it then. Over the next few days, I quietly started investigating on my own. I installed a nanny cam in the living room while my husband was at work. The first few days of footage showed nothing out of the ordinary, just my husband at home with the kids. Then one afternoon, I received a motion alert on my phone from the camera. When I pulled up the live feed, I couldn't believe my eyes. Fiona was there in our house with my husband. They were kissing passionately on the couch. I felt sick to my stomach. As quietly as I could, I grabbed the camera and rushed home. When I walked in the front door, they sprang apart looking guilty. Fiona grabbed her purse and fled without a word. I confronted my husband, 
demanding the truth. After some hesitation, he admitted they had been having an affair. The realization hit me like a ton of bricks. All the signs had been there and I chose to ignore them. I kicked him out of the house that day. In the following weeks, I filed for divorce. I was done protecting him and living a lie. It turned out the kids had met on Fiona on multiple occasions when she came over while I was at work. Through the divorce proceedings, I gained full custody. My husband tried to apologize and beg for another chance, but I had lost all trust and respect for him. In the end, the tampons were the smoking gun I needed to bring his deceit into the light of day and get out of that miserable marriage once and for all.